States of America. All right, folks, listen up. Trivia time. Who was George Bush Sr.'s vice president? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't remember. Uh, that would be Dan Quayle. <laughs> Dan Quayle. George Bush Sr.'s vice president was Dan Quayle. <laughs> oh, I didn't know these were going to be like long questions. You think it was Trivial Pursuit? Oh, um, Dan Quayle. Very good. I, Randy Swanson, do solemnly swear. I, Paul LaRue, do solemnly swear that I will. I, Chris Carnes, do solemnly swear to. I, Dimitri Lissacatos, do solemnly swear. swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against, against all, all enemies, foreign and domestic. domestic. That, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. same. And that, that I, I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Pledging my life, my fortune, and my sacred, sacred honor. honor. So, help. so help me God. I, Nathan Florence, by my own free will, do swear an oath to the oath keepers that I will stand with you, come hell or high water, through thick and thin, so long as you keep this oath. Thank you for inviting me here tonight. I am the organizer of the 912 Project Rhode Island. We've been around for a couple of months. Um, currently, we have about 100 members, about 30 to 40 are consistently active, which is terrific. And we're from all around the state. Currently, we're primarily focus in the northern part of the state and also central but what we want to do is include people who are down here in the south um, especially westerly charlestown narragansett um, richmond part, you know wh wherever you're from you're, you're part of rhode island and we want to include you in our 912 project um, currently we're we're a centralized group but we're actually going to be branching out so that we have groups all around the state and they will be branching out even more from there um, and with the 912 Project, it's all about looking to our founding fathers, looking at what they believed in what, and what they knew was true and how to live their lives and how to treat other people. And from that, Glenn Beck distilled uh, nine principles and 12 values. Um, some of them are hope, honesty, courage, hard work, gratitude, moderation, personal responsibility, humility, sincerity, charity, reverence, and theft. All things our politicians do not understand. Is that true? W would you think that's true? <laughs> so, in, in holding with that accountability piece at the very end there, that's what we want to hold our, um, our elected officials to. We want them to be accountable. So in our efforts politically, we want to look around the state and see what the needs are of Rhode Islanders in their local communities. So the, the point of having 912 branch out into regions is so that the group in Westerly or you know, down in this west, uh, south co southwest region um, can look at the things in their local community and say, okay, how can we hold people accountable? How can we set this train going in the right direction? Uh, people in the Northwest region can do the same. Not everyone is going to have the same issues that they're concerned about. So that is why going in a regional method will allow us to work in our own communities, but also hold true to the values of 912 and work within that paradigm. Um, currently, we are still in this formation stage. Uh, we're always recruiting new members. Please come up to me tonight. I'm sitting over at that table over there. My email address is sherm, S-H-E-R-M, 128, at yahoo.com. 
give me a call if you want to start a group down this way. I'd welcome it. I'm, I'm actually in need of someone down this way who could do the uh, southwest region of Rhode Island. And um, I'm looking forward to this summer. We're going to have a great event in Washington, D.C. on September 12th. Details to follow. I haven't heard too much, but it's coming out here and there every day. Um, I know Mike has aspirations of getting a bus together, so there's some fun stuff happening. There's some fun stuff happening. <laughs> and, of course, with Fourth of July and Gatsby Days, we, we will support every group and every endeavor because... Even though we're, we're various groups, we're all here for the same mission. And that's to keep freedom, to keep our freedom. So thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Hi, my name's Robert Giannette. I'm from Westerly. I ran for town council in 2008 because I, I was concerned about the way things are going here in America. And I don't like it. I don't, I don't like losing my freedom. I don't like paying a lot of taxes. And I... I decided the only way to change things without causing trouble is to actually get involved with the party. And I recommend that anybody who has that inclination to step up, talk to your people in your party, whether it's Republican, Libertarian, Constitution, or even Independent. It could be Democrat too. There's blue dog Democrats that, that go along with what I think. I believe in low taxes, um, less government and more freedom. Those are the, the principles I believe in. And I believe in this, the Constitution, the Rhode Island Constitution and the Federal Constitution. You got my vote. I believe in gun rights. I, I've been shooting um, since I was eight years old. I shot my first shotgun. And there's nothing wrong with a gun. There's nothing wrong with going out and shooting. And we all have that right. So what I'm trying to do, I didn't really prepare to speak tonight, but what I'm trying to do, I got involved with the Westerly Tea Party, I got involved with the Westerly uh, Tax Committee, which is part of the, the Tea Party in Westerly, and I attended the event up in Providence, the Tea Party, which was the most impressive thing I've been to. I've never seen such unity and support for, for a cause in Rhode Island. Um, but my idea here is to, to talk to the groups here and develop a tier structure because not everybody's going to want to run. You don't, you don't need a lot of money to run, but you need support. If, if we can get our people from the ground up and we can find leaders, then we can have a say in government and we don't have to have a government that we don't agree with. And that's what I wanted to say, and thank you. All right, folks, listen up. Trivia time. How do you pronounce the capital of Kentucky? Louisville or Louisville? Louisville. Uh, how do you pronounce the capital of Kentucky? Louisville or Louisville? Of course, Louisville, like the slugger. How do you pronounce the, the capital of Kentucky? Louisville or Louisville? Louisville. How do you pronounce the capital of Kentucky? Louisville or Louisville? It is Frankfurt. This concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org.